It is not a $15 billion bill, but Vancouver taxpayers are now the proud owners of their very own mega project, the embattled 2010 Athletes Village. Vancouver City Council has decided to take over the entire project, buying out the loan from the company that was financing the development. With council members taking pains to reassure Vancouverites, the decision will actually save them money. Ron Benzi reports. Construction of the Athletes' Village continued under clear blue skies today, and there should be more sunny days ahead now that the ongoing financial cloud has finally been lifted on the massive project. We have gone from an agreement that clearly was not in the best interest of taxpayers to an agreement that puts Vancouver taxpayers first. As of 10 o'clock this morning, the city became the official banker of the $1 billion development, the city taking over the financing from the original lender, New York-based Fortress Financial Group, which stopped forwarding money to the developer back in October. There would be high prepayment penalties continuing. City Council and the public were briefed on the new deal this morning. The original Fortress loan to Millennium Development totaled $750 million, with the city taking over the $320 million that has been paid out so far. It means the city must still find the remaining $430 million needed by the developer. The Fortress completion guarantee and financial guarantee would be extinguished, and it would allow the city to focus hard on our Olympic Ready commitment, which is our our top priority at this time for this project. By going it alone, the city claims taxpayers are saving about $90 million in interest payments, pointing out the new financial arrangement won't have any impact on property taxes. This is all financed through our capital uh, finance fund, through our property endowment fund. Uh, They are taxpayer dollars, but they're in longer-term holdings. And uh, at this point, um, there's no direct impact from this on property taxes. With the project about two-thirds done, the city has hired extra workers and has implemented special bonuses to ensure the project will be ready by October 31st when it's scheduled to be handed over to the Vancouver Olympic Committee.